The Mortgage Minute today being brought to you by our friends at Geneva Financial. When you're ready for that next home loan, Geneva's got the programs and the products. You just need to make the call, 800-306-1990, And yes, our team at Geneva does put every listing that we work with on TV now, on TV. So it's a great new tool we have from our friends at the, the lending team at Geneva. Every day at this time, OBMMI, they provide the most comprehensive, accurate, timely, and interactive analysis of pricing ever conducted in the mortgage industry, calculated from actual locked rates with consumers across 35% of all mortgage transactions nationwide. They do not tell us points paid, points received, or APR. They tell us the locked rate, which is what is used when calculating your payments. 30-year loans, those were up a little bit, 6.901. 30-year jumbos, 7.167. 30-year FHA, 6.715. 30-year USDA, 6.758. And the best loan on the market, that is the 30-year VA loan, 6.668. If you want our commentary about what's happening in the mortgage world every morning, we put that out as early as the data allows. RSRMarketMinute.com. RSRMarketMinute.com. Let's see what's going on today in the markets. We are looking at the S&P 500 is now up. 2.51. 2.51. 10 year treasury down two basis points. Mortgage backed securities are up 11 basis points, which means that interest rates are down just a little bit, not enough to really even think about. So I told you earlier the Bank of Japan ended their negative interest rate policy, hiking rates to a range of 0 to 0.1. First hike in 17 years. They also ended their yield curve control program where they would buy 10 year Japanese treasuries. Anytime it rose above a certain level, Fed focus, we're going to watch what's going on at the Fed. They start their meetings today. They will tell us what is their thoughts are tomorrow. We'll look at the dot plot from them as well. Unemployment rate indicators are still showing. Don't tell this to the Bureau of Labor Statistics. Remember, that is the BS group that I tell you about all the time. Unemployment rate rose to 3.9% in the latest jobs report for February, which is significant. Not only is it highest level we've seen in over two years. It's now a half a percent above the cycle low back in April of 2023. Whenever we get half a percent above the cycle low, it tells us we're either in a recession or we'll be there within three months. I told you, per Danielle DiMartino Booth, as of October 2023, the employment numbers show that we are in a recession. Now, remember, they change all the metrics for it all the time. So who knows what they'll say, especially when you're dealing with the BS department. Housing starts and permits rebounded. From the big decline we saw in January, surprise, surprise, another change that they got it wrong, rising 10.7% in February to 1.52 million unit annualized pay starts are now up 5% year over year. Single family starts, which are the most important, rose 11.6% to to 1.13 million unit annualized pace. Uh, Building permits, which is future supply, rose 1.9% to 1.52 million. And we're seeing a shift from multifamily to single family which is where we need the supply. That's the Mortgage Minute brought to you by our friends at Geneva Financial. When you're ready for that next home loan, Geneva's got the programs and the products. You just need to make the call, 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990.